After Michelle says she's forever first lady, James Woods humiliates her bad with reality check. Michelle Obama spoke to high school seniors and referred to herself as the forever first lady and it set some people off in the wrong way. One of those people was actor James Woods who is the forever man on Twitter as he constantly bombards people with tweets that on and take down people from their moral high pedestals, often stating his case with facts or just a dose of sarcasm that generates a jitter on Twitter. Michelle Obama said to the students I know that you are me and some of them may have thought, no, I'm actually me, not everyone wants to be the lady who ruined our school lunches, but that is obviously speculation and not fact. Just a thought because I personally witnessed children in schools throwing their lunches away after Michelle Obama made changes to the lunch programs. I'm unsure if that food was part of her program, but it wasn't scrumptious nor healthy in appearance and I watched children throw uneaten meals into the trash. Regardless of that, James Woods bashed the former first lady for her words, claiming that no one is the forever first lady. He received quite the response on Twitter after the following post with just over 31,000 likes. Philadelphia, AP, Michelle Obama told college-bound Philadelphia high school seniors Wednesday about when she applied to universities. Her counselor advised her not to set her sights too high and warned that some of the schools on her list were out of her reach, the former first lady said. There are always haters out there telling you what you can't do, Obama told the students celebrating college signing day. She did not heed her counselor's words. Instead, she attended Princeton University and Harvard Law School. Decades later, she accompanied her husband to the White House for two terms. I know that you are me, Obama told the crowd. And if I can be standing here as your forever first lady, then you can do anything you put your mind to. The label, forever first lady, came from actor Nick Cannon who along with other A-listers joined Obama at the 5th annual celebration, the first in Philadelphia. The event, held at Temple University, was not always, or often, solemn and serious. After Obama shared her thoughts, she broke out her dance moves alongside actors Robert De Niro, Bradley Cooper, Zendaya and Rebel Wilson as they all advocated for higher education. Obama pioneered the tradition in 2014 to congratulate young people who have chosen to further their education through a professional training program, community college, four-year institution or the military. She closed the festivities, but a long list of known names preceded her. Carly Gloss, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Sierra, Camila Cabello, Malcolm Jenkins and other major entertainers and athletes lent their support to the college-bound students. Jonathan Fan, a first-generation college student headed to Temple, said he's excited about the experience that wasn't afforded to his parents and other relatives. He also seemed enthusiastic before Obama's speech. Michelle Obama had more people working under her in the White House than current First Lady Melania Trump. Mrs. Obama potentially wasted taxpayer money by handing out jobs that may not have been needed. Mrs. Trump cut down spending by not needing as many people to work under her and perform tasks that could be done by a smaller amount of people. Woods is right when he says that no one is the forever first lady. You either are the first lady or you're the former first lady, but you can't be the forever first lady. It's 2018 and people identify 